What is up guys? It's DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video and today I wanted to bring you a video on the PNY internal SSD 500 gig upgrade kit from PNY. Um, this is a good investment and a very very easy way to swap out some hard drives on your laptop. Uh, it will work for various laptops including Mac, uh, Linux, Windows. Um, so it's got it's very universal and it's going to be very helpful at the price point that it's at so i really wanted to bring this value to you it's a really cool kit and so i wanted to bring it to you i just thought it was missing a couple instructions uh, that i found useful that i had to kind of go through now it didn't take me long i probably swapped out on a brand new computer that didn't have a lot of much a lot of stuff on it probably swapped everything out in about 30 minutes which was i thought was fantastic because i've had a struggle uh, wiping drives, installing fresh installs of Windows, and it takes even longer. So uh, really cool to be able to just clone a drive and take off. So I wanted to bring you guys this kit. I'm going to bring it to you today. I just wanted to quickly say thank you guys for subscribing, liking, subscribing, sharing, that kind of thing. All I'm out there to do, guys, is help bring you guys a little bit of information on some of these products out there. I purchase all the products myself and you know i like to bring them to you just because i don't see a lot of videos out there and i think they're really good products that could help you guys in the future so this was one that i saw and it really helped me not only get some things done really fast uh, it was inexpensive and it was a great little upgrade for this laptop that i have now let's get into the video on the pny but first i just want to give you a quick background story on this laptop i picked it up off ebay uh, I'm going to do a complete review on the laptop in a separate video. This is just for the PNY to give you an information, but this is a 11.6 Dell uh, Asparion 3000 series 2-in-1, uh, like kind of like a flip uh, laptop where you can flip it. It's a touchscreen, um, but it's 11.6, so it's like one of the smallest laptops that you can pick up out there screen-wise. And it works really good and there's a ton of different models um, but usually when you find these on ebay they need some work or they need upgrades uh, to get you into the 2020 so that was kind of one of my uh, plans for this laptop um, and i picked it up but it did have some issues so i've had to work through them to get there now disclaimer right now flash 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 i am not a laptop professional i'm no electronics professional when it comes to uh, computer repair so do any of this thing any of these things I'm telling you at your own risk guys I'm no professional I've just had to do this myself a few times and I've uh, struggled uh, with it myself uh, to get things done uh, sometimes it's computer work is very frustrating but I've been able to do it this one was super easy and so I wanted to bring it to you guys but like I said do anything at your own skill level at your own risk if you guys don't feel comfortable doing this stuff don't do it take it to a professional have them do it but this one i felt was really easy and i wanted to bring it to you and i think anybody could really do it out there if you just step by step go through the instructions like i'm trying to uh, help with today uh, in this tutorial and with the added help that i add to their instructions that they have in pny i think it'll make it really easy for you so like i said i'm not a professional if you don't feel comfortable doing this do not i am not responsible for anything that happens while you try to repair your computer. I'm no professional, I'm just giving you my thoughts, my opinions, uh, my comments on you know, how it turned out for me. So let's go ahead and get into this video, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna do a video on this laptop at a later time, uh, but I just kinda wanna go through the process on changing out the hard drive. Now, let's get into the next topic. Why do you wanna change out a hard drive? What's wrong with my hard drive? Well, sometimes, especially on an older laptop, this is a 2016 laptop and it only came out with maybe, you know, uh, I believe when it came out, it did have actually some pretty good memory. It had an HDD, 500 gigs. So 500 gigs was actually pretty good back then. Uh, it had maybe two to four gigs of RAM, which definitely needs to be kind of upgraded in the 2020 uh, time now. But four gigs is probably the minimum you wanna have in any laptop in my opinion. So it's right at that minimum. This one at least was, was at four gigs. So, you know, I probably would want to upgrade that myself and you would definitely notice a instant, uh, you know, 
pick up in speed and you know the way the system operates a little bit if you upgraded the ram but you'll also notice an extreme improvement when you upgrade from an hdd to an sdd or sorry yes to an ssd uh, when you upgrade to an ssd from an hdd you will definitely uh, notice difference because an hdd is kind of like a mechanical has moving parts uh, does a lot of uh, can be can be affected by you know slams and all kinds of stuff um, sometimes they're just uh, and they're slower because they're mechanical and moving parts and they got to spin up and all kinds of stuff like that so it takes uh, a lot more time for those to get going then an SSD has a flash memory where you know it's there's no moving parts in there it's going to just you know send uh, memory just like your little memory cards that you have uh, so it's a lot more efficient and a lot more effective and fast so you're going to notice instant improvements like quicker startup uh, on programs and your laptop in general and you know just better overall performance from an SSD so that's kind of where we stand there now so I bought this kit for that purpose uh, was to not only improve my memory because I wanted to go from 128 I think I had to 500 so now I have 500 gigs of memory on this laptop which is definitely an improve uh, how much I can save on this laptop and I don't have to worry about uh, external memory or you know an external micro SD card or things like that I can just put enough things on the laptop that I want and it also be SSD so it'll be uh, quickly available to me so that's what I want to do is upgrade this laptop. Now, another reason I had to upgrade this laptop is actually my other uh, hard drive was actually failing. So uh, I did a lot of tests and I found out that the after a certain point, maybe 12 hours of use with a laptop and it just running, the, the hard drive would just fail and then the computer said it couldn't connect to it. I'd have to power down the laptop, give it a couple minutes, turn it back on, and then it would say, boom, now it's powering up again so it was just crashing on me basically uh, it took me a, some trial and error to figure out how to get uh, how to figure out that was the problem but yes it was and I also ended up uh, replacing the cable uh, for the H uh, for the hard drive as well uh, that goes to the main motherboard I replaced that cable uh, because this actually has a crack in it as well uh, so I thought maybe that could be an issue too so I ended up replacing that for nine dollars so it wasn't a big investment there but I think it's a great investment to do this upgrade kit and this kit comes with everything you need guys the PNY uh, internal SSD upgrade kit 500 gigs for $49 at Walmart um, I will put the links in the description just in case you guys are interested uh, they go up to one terabyte guys at $80 which is fantastic if you ask me you're not gonna find anything cheaper than that really uh, that comes with not only the hard drive, a transfer cable, and uh, a code for their software, for Acronis software, to go ahead and make the switch. So, actually, very, very, very cool, guys, uh, kit. And, um, like I said, so the kit will come with the hard drive. Now, I don't have the hard drive in here. It looks just like this one. Uh, but I don't have the hard drive in here. It'll be all black because uh, I've already put it in my laptop. And then underneath this is actually your code uh, on the plastic here. You can see the is the code for the software. So make sure you don't throw this away right away. Uh, the code for the software is on the back of this. So check that out. And then in the package too, you will of course get the cord, the transfer cord, which is 3.0 fast, um, to go ahead and make the transfer switch as well. So very, very cool guys, this kit, was very very useful and it's the first time I've actually got to clone once you get the software to clone things that is awesome because uh, it just makes the process so much faster so this video on how to use the Acronis software guys really really easy um, but I just want to make a quick video of this just so you guys don't have any confusion make this really simple so here is your icon once you download the software from the website uh, really easy to find just go to PNY look up Acronis and bam, you'll be able to download the software. Then you use your code that comes in the kit. Uh, use that code, enter your email, and boom, uh, you'll be able to download the software to your computer. You download it, then you're gonna go ahead and open it. It will make this icon here. And when you open it, this is what it will look like here. Now my confusion only came just a little bit 
because I didn't know where to go on the software because I've never used this software before. So you say, so like I said, I opened it here. It'll ask you, do you want to open it? You say yes. The software will open like this. And now we'll get it full screen right here. So now we have the software. Well, from here, I didn't know where to go. And you might think, well, I just want to back up. But you do not want to back up. You actually want to clone. Uh, and I didn't see that at first. So it took me a minute to figure out where to go. So I kind of just went through all the options here. You know, archive stuff. You can uh, sync items. But then when I went to tools, there's your clone disk right here. So that's what we're going to click on. You're going to go to clone disk. Now, when you do that, you're going to want to take your transfer cable right here that you get in the kit, along with your new hard drive, your PNY. Like I said, I've already done this, so I don't need to do this. But basically, you will take your uh, hard drive here. Let me find it. You'll take your hard drive right here. You will plug it in to the cable here I can't do it with one hand but you'll plug it in and then you'll plug this into your laptop so that will be plugged into your laptop here and then you're going to want to go to clone disks so, so inside your computer here your hard drive has what you want to clone right and then this will be your new hard drive right here on the outside and you're going to want to plug that in through the transfer cable plug it into the computer and then that's going to be your new hard drive that you're going to clone to. Okay, guys. So um, that's the way you're going to get it done. Okay. So then when you go to the clone disk, it's going to kind of open up. It's going to initialize and find things uh, done. And uh, basically, because I don't have this other hard drive plugged in. It's not gonna. It's not gonna let me do it, okay? But basically, that's what you're gonna go ahead and do. Um, let's see if I can get it done real quick. So I got this one plugged in. I don't know how good this one's gonna work because this is actually a bad hard drive. <laughs> let's see if this works. Close this one. Go to clone disk. Now it's going to initialize. Yep. And that's technically working. And then you'll go to automatic. So we'll hit next here. And then see, it shows my PNY in the computer already. And then that would be your source disk. Your disk one is your source. And then your destination disk is what you want to copy to. So then that'll be the that'll be the one that's hooked up out on the outside, okay, guys, that you're going to end up putting into the computer. So that's the one you want to clone, clone, which will be disk two. So then you'll pick that. So we'll hit next. And then you'll hit the destination next will be disk two. And then we'll hit next. And then it'll ask us if we want to clone that. And we'll hit next again. And then it'll initiate the program to start cloning the disk. And now, like I said, it could take up to a half hour or an hour. It just depends on how much information you have. And that could take longer. It just but This was a new computer, so it didn't have much. So I, I probably did it in under 15 minutes. So uh, it worked out really good. Once you clone the disk and everything's done, it'll say it's successful. Or it'll ask for a restart. Mine asked for a restart. I've seen others that have said, hey, it's successful. You can close down the program and everything. Mine asked for a restart. And when I restarted it, basically all I had to do is once the computer shut down and restarted, I just disconnected the hard drive and the hard drive was cloned. Okay, guys. So that's about it there. So then once this is all done, you know, you can close everything down. I'm going to cancel this. You close everything down and you know disconnect your disk and then this disk can go inside the laptop and you're all cloned back really quick to show you how to get into this laptop now other laptops will be similar but uh, you need to look up and do a little research on what your laptop is and look for disassemble videos guys look for uh, anything on YouTube where it says you know your laptop and how to disassemble it reassemble whatever um, to be able to upgrade things now, some laptops are easier than others. This one was extremely easy to get into, and I'm gonna show you that real quick. But, you know, some will not. Some will say that you need, once you get into it, you might have to get a little bit deeper to get to whatever part you want. Now, if that's the case, you might wanna rethink about how in-depth you wanna go and how skilled you are uh, to be able to do it. 
because uh, some projects are harder than others. So in this instant, uh, this was pretty simple. So I felt confident that I could do it. But if you don't feel confident doing it, do not do it. So I, I think that's just my little warning that I want to put out there, guys. So after you've already cloned your drive, so after you've done the Acronis software, you've unplugged your you know, transfer cable, you've already transferred the information from this hard drive to the new hard drive, you're going to want to go ahead and unplug everything, unplug the laptop, unplug any cards you have in the, if you have any SD cards in, take those out. If you have any uh, like wireless dongles in, take those out. Make sure everything is out of the laptop just in case something goes wrong, you don't have anything stuck in there or anything like that. Also, remember that batteries retain energy. They retain uh, power, so you need to be very, very careful. A lot of guys will wear uh, like a you know, vinyl glove or some kind of nitrile glove uh, when they're doing any kind of repairs on laptops. That's going to be up to you. I'm not going to really be doing anything today, so I'm not wearing any gloves, but that's an option for you guys. Now, another thing you're going to need is a nice precision screwdriver set. Now, this uh, you can pick up at Walmart. You can also pick up, you know, on Amazon or something. I'll leave a link in the description on one just in case you guys want to look up for a precision screwdriver set. It's nice to have, and it's also going to help you take this apart very easily with those small screws that you have. So this has, let's see, has six, seven, eight, nine, has nine screws you need to take off, and then you're totally exposed to the bottom. So I've already, for the sake of time, taken out the screws. And to pop this off, you would just run, I run my fingernail, or you can run like a credit card uh, on the bottom of this, right on the edge very slowly. And you can just peel this off very slowly and the little things are popping out. You can kind of hear the little snap crackles and then boom, this came off really easy. Now this is one of the simpler ones to get done. Like I said, sometimes, um, they are not so simple, so you need to you need to watch some videos and see if this is how easy it is to get into your laptop before you get started so you can know where you're at and your confidence level if you want to tackle this or not. So like I said, we in this one it was very, very easy to get into, so uh, I felt confident doing it. So once you get down here, guys, I'm going to just show you this. You, you have everything open here, guys, and you can see I've already replaced my PNY, but uh, this is your RAM memory here, so that's exposed, so you can easily get to that. This is your battery, so you could easily replace a battery if you wanted to replace a battery on this laptop. Um, and then this is your hard drive right here, so you can easily replace the hard drive. Um, all you have to do is take off uh, three screws here. There's one screw here, one screw here, and one screw here for the battery, and the battery, the battery can be removed. Also, the one screw here is also a screw that's holding down your uh, your hard drive and then there's only two more screws on your hard drive and the whole hard drive will come out once you have the hard drive out uh, it'll have a, a little case on it you just need to remove that case uh, there's four screws in the case and you'll remove that case and you'll put your new hard drive say this is was the new hard drive uh, you put that in the case and then you're gonna put it back into the computer and that's it, it's really pretty simple, guys. Uh, once you get this back into the computer, you're gonna uh, reinsert the end that looks like this. I actually have one right here. Uh, looks like this, you're gonna put that into your hard drive, except it'll be a little bit tighter because you'll have to do it down here, of course. Uh, but it just goes, you can only put it on one way, so you can't really mess that up, guys. And then you're just gonna uh, put it on like that. And then this is gonna go right back into your laptop, okay guys? Just like that, okay? So then once you got that back into your laptop, you're gonna go ahead, uh, replace uh, all the screws, screw everything back in the way it done. You might wanna kinda of keep an eye because sometimes the screws are smaller or bigger. Keep an eye, keep things separated maybe uh, so you know what screws go where. Uh, in this case, they're pretty easy because the battery screws were gold. The uh, Hard drive screws were black, and uh, the screws on the panel are gray. So luckily, they're all kind of color coordinated. So I was able to easily kind of pick that up. Once you get that done, everything's back in. Everything's screwed down. Everything is back the way it was. You can go ahead and just put the case back on, guys. And it kind of pops in there a little bit. You can hear it snapping down a little bit. 
and the end will need a little help with those screws. Replace all your screws and you are good to go. All right, guys. So Midwest Raider, guys, DJ Martini Midwest Reviews, wrapping up the PNY 500 gig SSD upgrade kit, guys. This is a really cool kit. $49, guys, absolute value when it comes to having a transfer cable, uh, the actual hard drive, 500 gigs, SSD, and then also the software to go ahead and clone that, uh, your old hard drive to the new hard drive and get all that done really quickly. Like I said, the whole process actually took me around 30 minutes, uh, which I thought was fantastic. And it was very, very easy and fulfilling for me to be able to get it done to myself. I didn't have to take anywhere. I felt confident doing it and you know I only had one little stutter when it came to the software but I was able to locate that and uh, get that all done guys so not only is it going to upgrade your computer it's gonna make it faster um, it's gonna improve uh, some performance on it and you know it was easy to do It's also gonna add memory as well so very very cool guys absolute value at $50 uh, I would totally recommend this like I said you can find it at Walmart I'll leave, I'll leave a link for the actual, just the hard drive on Amazon. I'll leave the link for that. Uh, but if you get this at Walmart and you get the whole kit with the, the uh, transfer cable and the software, I think that's a value as well. So, all right, guys, I think that's about it. I thank you guys for tuning in to DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. Tune in for some more uh, reviews and tutorials, guys, in the future. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And... Stay tuned for the next video. All right, guys, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.